three, two, one. What's up, everybody? This is Lord John Demeanor, and welcome to another episode of Transformers Earth Wars. So today, I was about to make a new base, and um, because the last base I, I made, which you can currently see over here, is is just not up to the task. I've been defeated like 20, 30 times in a row, and to be honest, I'm actually quite sick of it. So I decided to make, make a new base, and. As an example, I took one of the bases, uh, yeah, which came came up in the Alliance War as of late. Uh, I pictured it and made a screenshot out of it, and that will be my example to make the new base. So also the new event which just came out, out of time, and with that you can also earn some Prime Core shards. Not really that special in my opinion. So yeah. So in a moment I'll show you guys the new base, which we'll see right here. This is the new base which I've been working on, and uh, yeah, my current base actually. And with that, I also like to show you the base yeah, which I took by example. As you can see right now, this is from Mitsu, Born to Fly. And I actually like the way he has, has his wall set up. The, uh, yeah, in a V curve to the middle and then to the V curve outside. Um, yeah, to cover up the sides. And that's just, yeah, at least, um, I don't know. That was in my mind while I was making this base. So I just speed, uh, sped up this progress a little bit. Uh, moved everything to the side, all the basic buildings, all the basic storages and everything. So I could just set up my walls first. Because my walls were, uh, yeah, pretty much most important. Once I get the, the layout of the walls down, I'm gonna fill it out by the with the defenses. And after that I'm gonna fill it out even more so with the resource buildings. Um, yeah, which are gonna uh, hold back and, and uh, delay the push the enemy is making. So... If we were to look back in the base uh, which I uh, which I made, uh, I moved the headquarters closer at first as well, because uh, right now I've sh uh, in the defenses which have defeated me quite often, um, they either went to the back via a cup rush or with Megatron or something, but uh, yeah, you know, just rush the headquarters, or they would just totally obliterate my base, just push it from front to back, and it did have the desired effect with the two the two different layers. Uh, from the walls and in between that the what is it the cannon and, uh, and uh, the storage So that did have the intended effect that made the uh, enemy push through two different layers of walls Which would uh, delay them actually quite a lot But since I'm also upgrading all uh, yeah pretty much all my other buildings I usually have like four or five at least yeah four usually five buildings in uh, Yeah in building queue and it takes like five days or seven days to upgrade them and you know it's just really a big ta tactical disadvantage if you have uh, if you have those buildings in upgrade mode. But you know, I upgraded my headquarter from level 12 to level 16. Uh, yeah, two three weeks ago, and right now I just have to uh, yeah upgrade the rest of my building as well so that everything is at the same level. And as of late, um, it's also been quite difficult to defend the space as well because my current Autobots um, are not really that strong. I don't really have the right Autobots to put in. I actually do have a four-star strafe, and I do have, uh, yeah, I have a slog in there to, to because it's beefy to tank all the damage mostly. And right now I also have either a hound or a skydive in there, because the hound is actually pretty good because of his single-target focus, and he fires uh, six of his abilities, which deal quite quite a decent damage. And on the other hand, I also like the skydive because they're around the same same, uh, yeah, damage range. But if the enemy is all clustered up, all together clustered up. Then you'll see that the skydive will hit multiple targets. And my skydive, 3 star skydive, currently hits for like 2500 damage, poison damage. So that's actually quite a lot as well. So I just put the defense, in the, I put, just put the defenses in place. I try to spread it out as much as possible. That's also one of the things I really like about this base design, which I just made because I designed the walls around it a little bit. So I could um, spread out these defenses and fill them up with, uh, yeah, with storages and everything. Uh, yeah, just to have some more beefy, strong defense in the middle. Also, I tried to cluster it all around the headquarters mostly, put most of the things all on range. And one of the things I'm not really uh, satisfied with uh, as of the end product is that it probably still somewhat is susceptible to a cup raid. Or to some kind of back door or something, because the defenses which I placed in the back, like the laser towers, and uh, the shock tower and the mortar, um, yeah, they're all in range of the headquarters, of course. But then again, um, I still have my doubts. If if 
if they are if they're up to the test, you know, if they're up to the test. So also uh, just underneath the laser towers, I, I put two of the other cannons, which are also uh, pretty much in range of the headquarters. So those those are going to be t defending it as well. And I'm actually kind of kind of uncertain about uh, if I should replace them with the mortars in the middle, because I placed two mortars in the middle right now. Uh, also because I just upgraded them to level level eight, I believe level nine. Uh, they currently have 2625 health. I gave them the, uh, the extra building health upgrade. And with that, they should be pretty much able to withstand, yeah, like I said, a skydive, which does run 25, 2600 damage uh, at this level. Uh, if you have a 3 star or if you have a 4 star, um, yeah, he'll just ruin the, the mortars, anyways. But that's what they're there for, alright? That's why I placed them, uh, placed them over there. And like I said, I could also change them up with the other cannons. But then it wouldn't really uh, all the much be in range of the front of the space. So yeah, here it is. This is now my current base. Like I said, I showed you how I changed it. Uh, what kind of uh, yeah, what kind of example I wanted uh, I wanted to go by, and it actually ended up like yeah, something totally different. But what I've experienced from now on is that, that once you cluster your defenses like this closely together, it is actually somewhat more better. I don't, I, w I wouldn't say that it's the best, because like an audible jazz or something, it will just totally ruin your base. Uh, yeah, anyway, it doesn't really matter. It will just call down the mortars and just destroy half of the right side of my base, making it susceptible to a Megatron rush or maybe a cup or something. But we'll see you know right now, I just made a new base, we'll see the defenses, uh, how things are going, and you know, we'll make up our minds maybe next week as well. I just hope I don't get uh, like like 20 or 30 defeats in a row again. Uh, my defeating list is really really bad right now, I've been d my base has been raided quite a lot, so that's why I had to change it right now. And I'm actually quite satisfied, I'm actually quite satisfied, most of the things are, are pretty much in range. I have a shock tower up front, the shock tower, uh, the second shock tower a little bit more to the back. And yeah. So that's basically it for this video guys. I hope everybody enjoyed it, found the video useful. Uh, yeah, maybe integrate the base building into your own base to help fend off those Decepticons and those Autobots and keep your resources safe. So yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed it. Please like, comment and subscribe to help me out really good. I only have one subscriber as of the day, so um, yeah, subscribing and liking and commenting the video would really help me out. Let your voice be heard and you know, give me a certain direction in which to take this video to. So enjoy your weekend, enjoy your day, it's really great weather outside right now and I'm going to enjoy it as well. So I'll see you guys in the next video and keep your head up, alright, bye bye.